Good morning, this is Rob. We're at the Millwood Tower again today. This is day three. That's the tower we're working in right now. We're on the third colony. The first colony was about a four or five foot tall colony. The second colony really surprised us being eight feet tall. And the third one, which had the least amount of bees of all of them coming out on the walls and looked to be what we thought was gonna be a new hive is actually an old hive also and it looks to be at least seven and a half if not eight feet tall itself here are our vehicles where we have all of our supplies here's our little workbench where we wire to the frames and put all the comb into frames so that we can save the bees in the hives and you can kind of hear in the background jeff vacuuming bees right now but he's way up there almost to the top inside this tower we had to go through it's only five feet by five feet on the inside and we had to create our own platform hi folks um thanks for watching the video some people have said they wanted more video so we're in the middle of a big job we are inside of the tower that's only five by five on the inside and we have three beehives in this tower this is the third one and we're going to start it today you can see where we've cut the wall here and we're ready to take these panels off and expose the beehive we've already done these two beehives you see over here this one was eight feet tall from top to bottom you can see all the old comb in the way that the combs were attached to the wall and this one the combs were attached parallel to the wall this is the first one we did and you can also see the combs attached here but in this case the combs were parallel to the studs instead of parallel to the wall so three beehives one building just amazing we'll be back Okay, we're in the middle of our removal here, and we've gotten the brood out, found the queen very early on, nice and easy. So now we're cutting out the honeycombs, and we're wiring them into the frames. We vacuumed up some of the bees. We have our vacuum sitting down here, our back box, I guess, connected to the vacuum, and we've got a frame sitting down there ready to receive it. So measure the comb, make sure you cut it at the right height, you're going to work your fingers into these bees and hold up the comb. You're going to use your knife and cut this comb free of the wall. I've already made the cut on top. And this stuff is heavy. Gently work your fingers into those bees and you can pick up the combs. Now I bring it down here and put it into the frames. 
it's a long process, but we're getting good beehives out of it. Here's one of two hives we will make out of this colony in this cutout. We will we have already started wiring frames with brood and honey and put them inside each one of these hives to split up and create two separate hives. One hive actually is opportunist as the queen. We found her. I'm gonna lift this off. They may get a little crazy. See, she's been wired in a queen cage with some attendants in the corner. Dump the excess bees off of the tray when wiring the comb and put it right in front of the hive and I dump those bees next to the hive and put a leaf up as a ramp. And as you can see the bees just walk right into the hive because that's where the queen is and they have her pheromones and they're fanning for her to join us. Join us now! This will be the other hive. Right now we only have the inner covers on these hives so that we can give them more air through the little screened in corner. And the fronts are closed off with screen wire so that we can prevent the bees that we put in the box from leaving.